this morning on BFMN. Today, I am announcing that I am a candidate for President of the United States. Former Arkansas governor is hitting the campaign trail, hoping to be president in 2024. Dirt work has begun on two big projects in the city of Brooklyn, the Harps Food Store and the Sports Complex. The Arkansas Attorney General has filed a motion to continue the stop of Summit Utilities collection process. The 2024 race to be president is on as Joe Biden hits the campaign trail once again. Sarah Huckabee Sanders holds an event for Arkansans to learn more about the Learns Act. The same day, the Attorney General rejects a referendum for the act. A former Arkansas senator is caught at an airport with loaded weapons. Brooklyn's fastest morning newscast officially begins now. It's April 29th. There's a lot of news to get to out there. Let's take you first to Brooklyn's forecast. Light rain showers are expected throughout the day. You can expect a high of 69 and a low of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But again, a lot of news to grab a lot of news to get to rather let's take you back there grab that umbrella as you head out the door well a former arkansas governor is hitting the campaign trail as he hopes to be president in 2024. former arkansas governor asa hutchinson is headed to iowa after making his formal presidential candidacy announcement on wednesday the former governor is aiming to secure the southern border make a pro-growth energy policy and to stop yielding to china for global leadership while some of his fans are fearing he's not going to get enough name recognition to end up in the house. We will keep you updated on our website at brooklynews.wordpress.com and right here on that race. Two big projects are now finally beginning construction. Dirt work has begun for the Brooklyn Sports Complex and the Harps Food Store, which means we could see a place for you to play out on those fields or your kids and a place for you or your kids to shop at. For the latest on all of that, you can visit brooklynnews.wordpress.com. The Arkansas Attorney General filed a motion to continue the stop of Summit Utilities collection process. On April 21st, soon after Summit Utilities said they would be resuming their normal collection process in the summer, Attorney General Tim Griffin filed the motion in order to stop that as there was an ongoing investigation into if the company was and is price gouging. What the stop does is allow users to refuse to pay. Now it is unknown when that investigation will be over. For the latest information on that story, you can visit brooklynnews.wordpress.com. President Joe Biden announces he is hitting the campaign trail once again, hoping to secure the White House for four more years. On Tuesday, the president posted a nearly three minute long video at 6 a.m. announcing his candidacy in order to keep the White House another four years. With Kamala Harris in the video, President Biden mentioned that he wanted freedom and that MAGA extremists are lining up to take those bedrock freedoms. And with that, poll data is showing that no matter Democratic or Republican, voters want change. And let's take a look at that data showing the Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden and Republican frontrunner Donald Trump. 38% of voters think President Biden is great, while 48% think he's bad. Let's take a look at Trump. 34% think he's great, and 53% think he's bad. Brooklyn News will continue to follow all of that information on our website at brooklynews.wordpress.com and right here. Sarah Huckabee Sanders held an event for Arkansans to learn more about the controversial Learns Act. The same day, the Attorney General rejected a referendum for the act. On Monday, an event held at the ASU Fowler Center allowed citizens of the natural state to learn more about the Arkansas Learns Act. I spoke to Melinda Webb and here's what she had to say. say they've been in college four to eight years, depends on the degree they're going for. She said it's a good way to start off with at least a thousand a year. When it came up, I said Arkansas was one of the lowest paid teachers. And I think Governor Sanders wants to bring learning as a forefront. And the protesters, I understand, she does support Arkansas teachers. I think people become half cocked. They don't think they know, and that's why I'm here, because I don't understand it all. But instead of protesting, I'm going in and I'm going to ask. I 
I spoke to Steve Graff, executive director of an organization named Citizens for Arkansas Public Education and students who told me that this would hurt rural schools earlier this month and that 69 out of 75 counties in Arkansas are considered rural. Capes filed a referendum that was called misleading by the AG. Brett released a statement to Brooklyn News and here's what it said. The state motto is the people rule. The AG works for the people and they're using political maneuvering because there is a very good chance the people will overturn this at the ballot. We asked the Attorney General to do his job and fight for the people instead of against us. He continued to say that Capes will get back with their attorney to refile the referendum soon. During the event, Sanders received questions regarding pay and how one parent's child wouldn't fall through the cracks as she was asked that tearfully by one parent. One of the most questionable things about the act would be the pay for most. Dana Johnson, Brooklyn school board member, asked that question. The governor said 80% of the money that the state gives to schools is going to teachers and the, that school districts will also be getting flexibility help with pay. Another question having to do with one parent child falling through the cracks was asked. The governor said that flexibility will be given to those districts and that one size doesn't fit all. A former Arkansas senator was caught with two loaded guns at a Little Rock airport. Jason Rapper, former state senator, was flying out of Little Rock National Airport when TSA found two loaded pistols in his luggage. Police were called to the scene, unloaded the weapons. Rapper took them to his car and continued on with his trip. He told authorities he didn't know they were there. That's all the news we have for you on this Saturday morning. Again, it's a busy morning. Rain showers expected. Grab that umbrella as you head out the door. For now, I'm Jackson Mitchell with Brooklyn News, and you're watching Brooklyn's Fastest Morning Newscast.